Hey, you doing, Vaughn? Hey, I'm doing. Uh, let me get my let me check my audio because Windows loves to pop down my pop mic. Down. Yes, buddy. Yes, uh, check the audio. That's not it. My audio. How's the? I put the head cam, uh, the headset mic on. Is that better than my normal uh, desktop mic? Well, you're not echoing, so that's that's an improvement. Okay. That's an improvement. At least I don't think so. Let me see here. Test, 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 test. Test, test, yeah, test, you, test. Nice. Yeah, you're good. fucking. You're, that's that's a lot better. That's a lot. Better. Oh, is it? Yeah, because I'm I mean, gonna rewatch the video just so I can hear what my voice sounds like. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, your voice is good and clear. Uh, no, oh, is no, it? Your okay. Voice. Yeah, fuck yeah, your voice is good and clear. Oh, good, good. All right, uh, so I am a busy little beaver this morning. I am busy uh, getting uh, getting an affidavit document uh, filled out and signed and submitted to the county attorney's office so that I can go get my shit back and uh, be able to repair these properties and pay my bills and all that good shit. And so, it is uh, such a shame the way the system works is literally you have to fight for your own stuff, man. You it's would think possession. you would think that the system would would be man. beneficial to the victim, but it is not. Yeah. Uh, not victims. See that, uh, that's why Admiralty Law has to has to go bye bye. That's why Admiralty Law has to go bye bye, and this fake ass Constitution that was created in 1871. See that what a lot of a lot of Americans don't understand is that the Constitution we're under right now has been changed. It was changed with the Act of 1871. The Act of 1871 literally flipped the power of the Constitution around. See, in the, in the, in the Constitution that the founders gave us, um, the per me and you have the most power. A judge serves me. A policeman right. serves me. A firefighter serves me. All right. these other, all these people that That's supposed, what they call you know, politicians, service. politicians, the president, even right. the vice president, even the house. Like I said, under the original Constitution, I can walk into that goddamn house anytime I fucking feel like it. And there's not a damn thing they can do about it. Yeah. But exactly. because of the act of 1871, they literally flipped the, the polls, to, so to speak. And, and now the federal government has the most power, state in the next power counting the next power and then we the people are dead last we're basically we're basically converted to serfs and we're living in a con uh, a, a, a a a corporation it's it's changed it into a corporation and we're literally serfs in our own land okay which is the exact opposite of what the founders intended see under the original constitution a judge can't sit there and just arbitrarily decide to go and throw you in jail they can't do that right. they can't sit there and find you in contempt and throw you in jail that's admiralty law See, we're currently under admiralty law as a result of the uh, Act of 1871 and the Act of 1913. And a lot of people don't understand that either. Now, uh, some doofus tries to go into court and say, I'm a, I'm a sovereign citizen. And then the judge laughs at him and throws him in jail. Okay. Can't do that because we're not under actually, the original. We're actually, not under the original Constitution. Huh? Actually, there are organizations like this. Yes, ACLU, it's called Freedom on the Land. Yes, hold I'm on, well aware on. of it. No, wait. No, that's not what I was going. That's not oh, what I was okay. going to say. The ACLU and a lot of these other organizations, even the United States government, the FBI, these mm -hmm. organizations, mm -hmm. they consider people who are who consider themselves, you know, freemen on the land, sovereign citizens to be domestic terrorists. They actually right. have you on watch list. Right. So I would be careful. These people, so they consider you an enemy of the state. Right. And they target you. They target these people. So I would be careful. You know, people right. that which which is true. You know, you are a sovereign citizen. Right. You know, there are people that say, "Well, I don't need to get a license plate for my car," and they drive without a license plate, right. and then the cop pulls you over and asks you, "How come <laughs> you don't have a license plate?" Yeah. You say, "Well, I don't need to register. Only only uh, commercial vehicles need a license plate, which is which is actually the legal way of doing it. I'm not right. a commercial vehicle. I don't need a license plate." Well, they arrest you because you're a sovereign citizen, you're a terrorist, and they put you in prison forever. Right. Right. So uh, be careful. That's all I was right. saying. Oh, I know. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I'm not a part of that Freeman on the land bullshit anyway, because it doesn't work here in the United States. Now it, it will really. work in Canada and the Europe and Australia. Freeman on the land will actually work in those countries. Why? Oh, because yeah. Australia, the Australia and Canada and the UK. And the reason it works is because I don't know about other countries in Europe, but I know in, in Canada and Australia, 
and the United Kingdom, Freeman on the Land shit works. Now, why does it work in Europe but not here in the United States? The reason it works in Europe is because they can re literally reach back into time to what they call common law and grab a hold of that shit and use it in a court of law there in Europe to actually fight to get their, their uh, rights established and, and, and establish themselves as a sovereign citizen and, and fight to get their uh, justice. Okay, we here in America can't do that because the Act of 1871 literally changed our Constitution. OK, and that's why that's why if you go in, if you go into court with spouting this Freeman on the land bullshit, the judge is going to look at you, find you in contempt of court and throw your ass in jail. Right. And that's where you'll sit until you until you vegetate. OK, no, so it doesn't work here in the United States like it works in Europe. And everybody that's tried, it's gotten chewed up one side and down the other. And mm -hmm. there was this one guy went into court and he said, uh, the Constitution says, and the judge stopped him right in mid sentence and said, you mentioned the Constitution of the United States in this courtroom one more time. I will find you in contempt and throw you in jail. That's because we're not because we're not under the Constitution. We're under the uh, we're under an aborted version of the Constitution uh, per the Act of 1871. And we're not under the Constitution in a court of law. We're under admiralty law in a court of law. OK, and it is important for people to understand that that distinction, because, you know, people go into court thinking, you know, the Constitution is in play. They go, they go into the court thinking they have rights. <laughs> yeah, you have no rights. The, the, the Act of 1871 literally stripped you of your rights. It, it flipped the poles. Like I said, you know, instead of north being north, now north is south and south is north. The federal government now has the most power. The state has the next highest. County has the next highest. And then you, the peon, have nothing, literally nothing. And that's why when you open up a business uh, Bible, it, it says right in there, uh, it, either, it either says monster or it says useless eater under, under the term human. Yeah, monster, yeah. That's a monster or useless eater. They they call us useless eaters, but the official term in the in the dictionary or in the uh, in the financial bible is 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 monster. You're a monster. Right. The all in the dictionary, the only per, only people that are considered people are corporations. Or corporations or and state. LLCs and yeah. shit like that. Right, correct. That's correct. And you'll be amazed how many people don't know that, particularly Americans, because you're yeah, not yeah. being told the truth. You're not you're being told a lie. You're not being told the truth. And you need to wake up, folks. You need to understand that you're being lied to. You're being manipulated. Where are we at? Are we on Rumble? Or are we on YouTube? We are on YouTube. We are on YouTube. So oh, we're on YouTube still. OK, well, in any event, um, you know, it, it's OK. Uh, people on YouTube need to know this shit, too, because yeah. everybody's being lied to. You know, you think that congressman in, in Washington, D.C. represents you? No, 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 no not since 1871. <laughs> then no congressman. I, I love I, I watch the hubris of these congressmen and congresswomen. They get up in front of a camera and we're fighting for the American people. No, they ain't they ain't been fighting for the American people since 1871. <laughs> I'm sure they fight for, they that. fight I'm, for I'm corporations. Sure. They fight yeah. for corporations and they fight for the Illuminati and the New World Order. They don't fight for Damn, you. Damn, Von, you're on our tier today, man. You're like you got. Well, a well, I, I, well, I'm 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 doing legal shit today, so oh, I guess yeah, that's why. Yeah. But, uh, you're fired up, man. Yeah. So, but it, but yeah, people, these people need don't to like know you. This. These people hate you. These people hate humans. They hate you. Yes. You know, maybe there's a congressman out there that might think in their head before they go to dc them. maybe and then they maybe. get and then they realize once they get elected oh shit what am i up against a swamp you know mm -hmm. you're up against the congress critters and you're not going to get mm -hmm. far mm -hmm. you either bend the knee and submit to the whoever you're whoever's there the deep Illuminati, state yeah the deep state the, deep the new state. world order or whatever but um you know, or you you fight them, and then you, just, you end up like Trump. Yeah, you just end up like Trump. Ninety one fell. He's got. A yeah, he's turning. He's ninety one. I can't, that still blows my mind. Ninety one. Uh, 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 shit. What's the what's indictments? The indictments thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. indictment. Ninety one indictment. I was thinking. I kept thinking affidavit because that's what I'm doing is affidavits. You know, yeah. and it's like, but but yeah, man. Um, yeah, that's what I'm saying. And until we can repeal the Act of 1871 and the Act of 1913, you ain't got no rights. Not really. You know, yeah. you, I've got my rights. And the, and, the, and the police officer puts the cuffs on you and hauls you off to jail. <laughs> right. You ain't got no rights. 
Because if you had rights, police officer wouldn't be able to do shit to you. A judge wouldn't be able to do shit to you. Nobody would be able to do shit to you. Yeah. Then your Freeman on the land shit might work because we'd be under the real constitution and instead of this bastardized version created That's in nice, 1871. Yeah. And see, people people don't know this though. They they and and when I try to explain it to them, they look at me like a deer in headlights. Say, "Oh, okay, oh, Yvonne, you got to be kidding." No, go read the fucking thing. Go read they the act. They don't want to learn. Don't. They don't want to understand. They just want to live dumb. They want to live with their head in the sand. They want to live like a peon. They, and that's they, exactly they, how they we got. Be, in this they way. have a slave mind. They they. Are. Well, that's exactly how we got this way. Is by people sticking their head in the sand instead of. I'm watching these people. The the founder said over and over and over again, um, uh, uh, be vigilant, be vigilant, be vigilant. They said that word over and over and over again. Be vigilant of who? Be vigilant of the damn government. Russia is not your enemy. China is not your enemy. Well, they could be, but they're not. Your biggest enemy is your own damn government because you sat, stuck your head in the sand instead of watching them Congress critters and watching all these motherfuckers in Washington, D.C. and making sure that they stuck to the original Constitution, not the bastardized version we have today. But see, that's the thing. The official the official Constitution we have now is the Act of 1871, yeah. unfortunately, and our capital, unfortunately, is Washington, D.C. Now. Is the Act of 1871 unconstitutional? Of course it is. So is the Act of 1913. But until somebody repeals it, abolishes it, um, does away with it, whatever, uh, it's it's in play. Okay, it's it's like in a poker game. It's in play, and we've got to get it out of play and get it destroyed and get it done away with. And and if we don't, <laughs> well, uh, they're still going to be in power. They're still going to be in control, and you ain't got shit. You ain't got no shit, man. You know, that's why policemen and judges and lawyers can do what they can do is because you don't have any rights. You don't have any rights. <clears throat> all you have is a facade. That's all you have. Because the act of 1871 stripped you of your rights and made you a fucking serf. And it's horrible. And that's why we need to abolish the act of 1871. Yeah. But. Uh, are we going to be able to do that? And the answer is, I don't know. The gods say we're going to restore this. We got out of serfdom a, long, a couple of hundred years ago, and we fought a long battle for it. And, and we fought and a battle for it, right and now, we, and now we've given it up again. Yeah. See, that that's what the that's what the New World Order was, was banking on, is that all the founders would die, and the American public would become lax, and just accept whatever comes along. And that's unfortunately exactly what happened. What do you want, puppy dog? Oh, there's Floppy. What would you want, Floppy Dog? Oh, we had us a good nap, buddy, today. Yes. Oh, did we? Oh, uh, yeah. We had us, me and Floppy and Sharpie, we all had us a good nap. Sharpie's still back there. Or no, Sharpie's right there. There's Sharpie. There's Sharpie Dog. Whoops. Hey, Sharpie Dog. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so we got the Sharpie and the Floppy, and everybody's happy. Yes. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> Look at them. God, he's so adorable. <laughs> oh, yes. man. See, I've got a daddy that loves me, don't you, buddy? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's such a shame that people say you hate those dogs when you, you can I look at that. I know. How can I? How can I if, dude, if I hated them dogs, they'd be growling and biting me and everything else. Where are you getting that shit from? Yeah. That's bullshit. Now, okay, they would come now, nowhere near you. They come, come uh, yeah, they wouldn't be you. nowhere near me. Exactly. Or if they did come near you, they'd bite your nose right off. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You got cooking you something in the this. microwave? You got to you got to start. Uh, yeah, this? I got to go. Well, that's what I was going to say. I got to get up and check my food. You got to go get your banquet. And then we let's see here, puppy. Want let's see if we got something good on the um on the uh. Let's see. So we're gonna do the Republican debates tonight, guys. Um. Uh, and we're also gonna cover. The Tucker Carlson interview interview with Trump. Uh, apparently, Trump is going to do an interview with Tucker. I think that was the last I heard about that. Trump won't be at the GOP debate, first pre presidential debate, but his presence will be felt. Yeah, I mean, obviously, he's going to have an impact no matter what happens. I mean, it, it's just the way it's going to be, guys. You know, uh, Trump is uh, literally the Republican Party. Um. He and one, he he and he and the Republican Party are one. You know, like like Jesus said. You know, like you match him over that girl. So, you know, you know, me and the Father are one. So, you know, Trump in the debate is one. Trump and the Republican is one. 
um, Republican Party has won. So at this point, you know, um, I'm Trump's Trump won the debate is is my is my uh, you know they're gonna rip each other apart. They're gonna try to you know be likable, show emotion for on 2024. <laughs> That's so funny. I mean, Ron DeSantis has a lot of things going for him, but, you know, personality isn't one. So Trump, oh, they're arresting him. Yep, yeah, they're arresting him tomorrow. Well, uh, I'll tell you, uh, people, people that would wish death and destruction on someone's family needs to be cursed to the 20th generation. So you want to do that? You want to give them a curse, Ron? You want to throw that? Let me throw you. Well, I just, I just throw my little knot up there. With this knot, I give to thee. I reverse all curses that were sent to me. Okay, and with Amen. this knot, I give to thee. I request all my, all my wealth be brought back to me. Amen. Amen. Simple as that. Simple as that. It's gonna happen. Of course it is. It's already happened. We just haven't actualized it yet, if that makes any sense. For right. those who mm -hmm. watch it. It's been one in the outer realms. Now we just got yeah. to manifest it physically into this realm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. the F Baron Von Helton, man. Baron Von Helton. That's a good <laughs> name. I like that name. Baron Isn't Von it Helton. something? The name, wow. her name was not real. It was not real. And I created the name because I flew in a red poker triplane like Baron Ooh. von Richthofen. You did, yeah. And so I, I created that name. It was totally fake. It wasn't real. And look how the gods have turned it around and made it into a real name. With real title and real nobility. Amazing. I mean, yeah. if I go to Europe, if I was to go to Europe, that would be a real title. Because I'm a landowner. Yeah, yeah. You would, um, you could be a prince in the Holy Roman Empire in Germany. I would be. In the Deutsche uh, Republic. Uh, mm-hmm. That'd be kind of cool if that was actually, you know, if you could have your own little castle, Castle Von Helton. Uh -huh. That'd be kind of cool. Castle Helton, I guess, would be, would be, I don't know what it would be called. Whatever. I mean, you would name it whatever you want to name it, I guess. But yeah, that would be kind of cool. A little plot of land, a castle. Could you imagine? A, <laughs> Germany has tons of castles. I mean, it's like, I think it's one of the places in the world where it's like the most castles or something can you imagine know. the? can you imagine the trolls heads exploding if it was found that i have a castle in europe their fucking yeah. heads would explode <laughs> yeah they wouldn't they could they couldn't stop that they would they would just they would just be seizing on the floor yeah, foaming at the mouth like wild that. animals yeah, they'd be having seizures on the floor foaming at mm -hmm. the mouth and just be like yeah they, mm -hmm. they wouldn't handle that bond their heads would explode you're right hey the gods are capable of anything. Amen. Yeah, that's true. They're capable of anything. You don't know. I don't know how. I don't anticipate. I don't even begin to know how the gods are going to do this. But now the gods have said, we're restoring everything back to you. Everything that the trolls have done, everything the frost have done, it's all coming back to you. So. That's I don't know how they're going to do it, but they're going to do it. They'll do it. Everything's possible. Anything's possible. Damn, what are you eating there, Vaughn? What's uh, what's the uh, dinner? Well, they have several. They have ever banquet has several steak like dinners. So I don't know if this is homestyle meal, Salisbury steak. Well, they ain't the pepper steak. That's very unique. But um, they have several it's, stuff like that. Let me, okay. let me check the, let me get the official yeah, name. It's a, I, I wish I could find those meals, but I can't. I, every time I go to Walmart or I go to the Dollar General or something like that, I can never find any of that stuff. Oh, Salisbury steak. 
It is Salisbury Steak. So. No, it's not Salisbury steak. I said it. I said it is Salisbury steak. Oh, it is Salisbury steak. Okay. It is Salisbury steak. Yeah. yeah. But they have several meals that are steaks the wife's with the wife's whatever. Over there. The wife's over there still sleeping. <laughs> uh, it's ten o'clock. It's eleven o'clock in the morning. Mm. It's all right. She's sleeping in. That's all right. Mm -hmm. That's good. Well, I guess you guys have been busting ass, so you deserve a break, right? Yeah, well, yeah, absolutely. Working nonstop and just yeah. rocking and rolling and just doing what we got to do. And, you know, it is what it is. Got to survive. Mm -hmm. Damn. That look, yeah, it's, I mean, I can smell that steak from here. Salisbury steak from here, man. It smells good. <laughs> you know, all joking you know, aside, uh, yeah. If someone, if someone is thinking about me, and they are female, oh. a lot of times I can pick up their perfume. <laughs> oh yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, it's like, oh, you were wearing uh, Chanel number five, weren't you? Like, How did you know that? Because <laughs> you were thinking about me, and when you think about me, then I can pick up on your perfume. And it's like, ah, got you now. I Pretty like cool. Chanel. Chanel's good stuff, but that's expensive. I used to be able to. I used to be able to start a sentence, and Andrew would finish it. I remember that you telling me that. Yeah, that was nice. That's good when you're on sync like that. When you're on the same wavelength like that, it's mm. good. It's a shame. It's a shanda. Um, and to use a Yiddish word, a shanda means a shameful act. Mm -hmm. That uh, what they did to you and Andrew. That's it. It really is a shanda. It is. Um. It's to destroy someone like that. It's like to rip someone apart deliberately. It's just like they and they have no they have no shame. These people, mm. you know, they have no. They literally have no shame. But you know what? It's a, it is what it is. So yeah, they, they're they're gonna their day is numbered. They're literally over there laughing about it, dude. I know. I know. They're laughing about it. And um, I tell you, the gods showed me. They let me see it. Now, I don't know if it was one of my times when I was dead. Or if it was a vision or a dream or what. But the gods showed me what it's going to be like. Get an idea. Ain't no flames. It's pure pitch black dark. Oh man, you can hardly see anything, and there's these demons, entities, whatever you want to call them, you atheists, whatever the fuck you want to call them, <clears throat> and they're all around you, ripping you apart literally, ripping you apart. And there's no way out, man. There's no way out. All you can do is all the best is fight the best that you can, as best you can, but there's just so many that it's, it's not. It's not possible. And I was shown this, and I'm sitting there with, with literally no chance of survival. And then all at once, this huge beam of light shines down on me, scatters all the demons, and then I get shot back up to wherever. I was shown that because the people have this misconception that, you know, about what what it's like on the other side of the veil. Well, I was shown. Now you know. It's not a forgiving place. Now whether these demons are able to actually destroy you in that realm, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I mean, I was I was in there with them. And like I said, if this beam of light hadn't have shown down, I, I suspect I would have been destroyed. I don't know. Maybe it's one of those things that occurs for all eternity. Maybe it's one time thing. I don't know. But I was shown that. For a reason, so that I can tell you guys what I saw. Yeah. And so you know, take it to heart uh, that you know I I have no reason to lie, and I'm not going to lie. And so if I see a thing, I'm going to tell you. So, you know, don't shoot the messengers with fun and saying. Yeah, don't yeah, shoot, don't the, shoot messenger. the messenger, right? But be prepared, folks, because I tell you, it's not a it's not a picnic. It is not no it's picnic. It's not somewhere you want to be, guys. No, fuck no.
Yeah. Uh, these, these atheists are like, oh, I, I, I can hang, but yeah, no, you ain't hanging shit. You ain't dealing with shit. You're gonna, you're gonna be in the same boat everybody else is. Oh, look who it is, Vaughn. Your old buddy, your old pal. No, oh, yeah. Yeah. Morning, hood hippie. What's up? Speaking of people that are following Lucifer. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, it's so funny. I was watching. I was watching the uh, the day. Remember how you know how Solo Marshall fucked us over with doing yeah. what he did. Right. I was watching the 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 um the uh, video that he was in with us two days before prior. Mm -hmm. Remember, he was trying to convince you to sell all your property. Oh yeah, he yeah. That on the bank. So he was he was on he was on this path of destroying us before. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So he was slipping down the. And it's so sad because Solo used to say to us, "He loves us and he cares about us and he's our friend." And then he's mm -hmm. going to try to get you to destroy your property and stuff. I mean, well, yeah, it, that it, you know, I mean, they're they're scared. They're scared because if I've got money, then I've got power, and if I have power, right. then I can do shit. And and they don't want that. They don't want me. To I've got to the do power. I got the power. <laughs> hey, Babel. No That's a good song. That's a good song, I guess. Good morning, Babel. How are you? I got the power. Hi. A little bit. Yeah. Yay, hey, hey. Oh, right. whoa, whoa, whoa. I've got the power. I got the power. <clears throat> oh, I was going to look up the lyrics for that song, and I, uh, I didn't Take get the it money and run. No, no. Ain't no rest for the wicked. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. You got to do a cover for that room. Uh, yeah. Ain't no rest for the wicked. I got to see if. Uh, if there's lyrics and see if there's a karaoke. If there is, that'd be awesome. That would be kind of cool if there was a karaoke. I'm playing my Universal uh, Europa Universalist four game, and I'm currently playing as the Ottomans. And I, the Ottoman uh, Turks, okay, beautiful. Yeah. Well, they swept across Europe like a plague, and and South America or South Africa like a plague, or North Africa yeah, like a plague. North Africa, yeah. North, North Africa. Africa and South Europe. I can't get the two mixed up. Anyway. Yeah, but they ended up going crash and been burning down. Yeah, they crashed and burned. Yeah, after a while. I got a question for you, Vaughn, real quick. You, yeah. What he's what he's in the background? You want what he in or? Eddie, man, I don't give a shit. All right. What's up, Woody? Hey, what's up, fellas? Not much. How, how you did doing? I, how did I get in league with Lucifer? All of a sudden, <laughs> you, well, missed, you, you apparently missed the, the video. Trolls, yeah. Dude, there was a video on YouTube. There was a video on YouTube, and this guy had absconded a Bible from the his his Freeman Freemasonry lodge. And right there, as so, soon as you open up the fucking cover, I mean, there it is, dedicated to Lucifer. Oh, I mean, hold on! It, right there, he he opened up the Bible live on camera, and right inside, dedicated to Lucifer. Yes, from his Freemasonry lodge. Yes, sir, sure did. Now, of course, you won't find that video today because hey, we we scrubbed the internet, but it was on there. Give me I, I think I, I might even have a copy. I might even have a copy. I don't know though. Yeah, that's, see, not good. From, that's not good. I switched from hard drives to SSDs, and in the process, I lost a lot of data. But I may still have a copy of that video. I don't know. I'll have to look. But yeah, I mean, Susie opened up the Susie opened up that Bible, man, right on the inside, dedicated to Lucifer. Don't feel bad though, because I've got a video where a Catholic mass is also dedicated to Lucifer. Okay. So don't feel bad, okay? All right, Vaughn. From from the there is the only thing different about the Bible. Is it talks about uh, some of the symbolic deals, mm -hmm. um, science and symbolic brother. It's, it talks about masonry, it talks, mm -hmm. about, it talks about myths and legends, and mm -hmm. it talks about symbolic degrees. And mm -hmm. then it's got an area for people to put their names in it, mm -hmm. and it says nothing at all about Lucifer except in the Bible where it talks about it. It's basically well, it's basically the only thing that it, the only the only difference is it's got basically a, a kind of a preview of what the different symbols mean and some of the words well That's then it. explain to me why albert pike and frank parsons were such evil vindictive pieces of shit then because they were freemasons well there's lots of shitty people in the world bond that doesn't make necessarily freemasons make them a deal i mean those guys were all uh capitalists and they did a lot of shitty things i mean i don't i don't think nelson rockefeller was no. a was a freemason but he fucked over a lot of people yeah well that's true um 
I don't think. Well, I don't know what the fuck he is. I don't. Rockefeller and Rothschilds. I don't know if they were Masonic or not. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they were. Really, I know really the, Rock, the, the Rockefellers were. Really, I don't, know, I don't know about Roosevelt though. The Bible is basically the same. I mean, you, you can look. Online. Oh, a lot of these people are Freemasons, or they are skull and bones. Yeah, all the all the astro- Isn't yeah. that interesting? All the astronauts are Freemasons. Isn't that crazy? They're all part of some secret society. A lot they of these people. They all hold. They all get the secret. They when they stand in the line to get their pictures taken. Certain pictures are all given the Masonic sign. Yes, I know. I've been watching. I've been watching these these um, these people uh, in in subcommittees, and behind them there'll be somebody doing hand signals. And I'm like, what the fuck are they doing these hand yeah. signals for behind? It's like, what the fuck is that the all about? The question is, why would you want to get involved with these people, though, Woody? Why well, would you exactly, want to be part of the because there's, there's some kind of dark shit going on, or that, you know, I mean, think about it. What did Ben Franklin say? Ben Franklin said, those things that are done in the light of day are liberty, and those things done in the dark of night are tyranny. He was talking about secret societies. But That's belonged, exactly what Ironically, he, he belonged to one. They found bodies. Well, you got, hold on, hold, never, hold, hold, hold the Club. Hold on, Woody. Hold on, Woody. I got to correct you. As a historian, I must correct you. Because, yes, Washington, Franklin, and, and all the founding fathers were Masons. But they were not free Masons. They were Masons. And their, their pact was not a secret society. And I have a document from George Washington's own hand where he wrote out a document saying he thanked God. But I think he said that I think about the, those above or however the fuck he worded it. You know how they word back shit right. back then. Right. But he worded it in such a way. He says, you know, I thank the powers that be, so to speak, or whatever the gods above. However, that uh, that we have not yet been taken over by uh, the Illuminati. He mentions the word Illuminati by name. OK, he's referring to Adam Weishaupt and his Illuminati. OK, now the problem is, is that when all the founders died, here they come and they come over here and they took shit over anyway. And so, you know, that's unfortunate, but that's the way it went down. Uh, I, like I said, me and John were talking about it yesterday, how Andrew Jackson, they, 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 tra- they come over here too early and ran smack dab into Andrew Jackson and said, by the eternal, I'll rout you out. <laughs> it's fucking, fucking hilarious, man. And then when he's on his deathbed, they said, well, what, what do you want to be best known for, Mr. President? What's the best thing? I killed the banks, and it, which he did. Unfortunately, after he died, here they come right back again. So you know, it's uh, it's it's horrible. But well, I, think, um, I think that's going to be hopefully a topic tonight in the debate um, about what uh, the Fed. Uh, these clowns that are going to be on stage tonight are not going to be talking about the Fed. They're not going to be talking about the Act of 1871, the Act of 1913. They're not going to be talking about re- repealing uh, the 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 uh, the federal tax. Uh, which, by the way, is unconstitutional. I mean, hello, Boston Tea Party. Any motherfucker out there? I mean, why the fuck yeah. did we have Boston Tea Party if they're going to? I have, yeah, I have a level? feeling that the debate so is going to be boring. The debate is going to be the debate. All the debate is going to be a bunch, a bunch of, a bunch of reptiles sitting there having an argument about what sheep they're going to kill that night. You know, basically. Yeah. Okay, I may have to take this. Hold on. Oh, Vaughn's got an important phone call. Vaughn's got an important call. Say, John. Uh, how have you been, John? I've been well, thank God. I'm glad. You're How are well. you? Is the wife doing okay? The wife's doing okay. Good, good. I'm glad to hear it. Yeah, everything's all right. Been working, long days, doing a lot of shit. You know, it is what it is. You uh, gotta do what you gotta do, right? Do what you gotta do, exactly. So when 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 did you start getting anti Woody all of a sudden? What did I ever do? There we you? go. Well, when I saw you popping in, like, you know, hangouts that Sacklers have and, yeah. and, and Todd. Why, why, are you, why, are you a ta- why are you hanging out with Todd and Secular and all these motherfuckers? Why are you doing that, man? Them people destroyed my family. I haven't talked to those guys. I mean, everybody Charlie was Miller, tried to kill me. Where I was I at. Out Charlie they Miller. tried to kill me, Woody. What are you doing hanging with them, man? Why? why I don't know them? about them trying to kill you. All I know is that I had a conversation with a guy named Snyder Handyman about JFK. And I went on there and I talked about things. And then he right? had a I didn't say anything. I didn't, I didn't, say, much, anything. I didn't say anything. Socks. I'm just coming about you, Vaughn. As a matter of fact, I well, think yeah, I you did. Well, you a did bit. talk about us, and I did watch the video. I didn't. Re- I don't really remember much of it because it was like a couple. Of, it was like a month ago, or whatever. But 
I, you know, it's, you know, it's just whatever. I mean, it's like a, a, the analogy I gave Solo the other day. If if I'm Joey and I have a friend named Bobby and he's any he, and we're best friends and he goes and hangs out with a guy named Tony and Tony beats me up and throws me in the locker every day. You know, it's like, are you really my best friend or, you know, I mean, why are you hanging out with my bully? You know, it's like, I don't know. It's uh, it's not not kosher in my book. But this is it's, nice. It's not right. John, this is nice, but we're adults. Well, it, yeah, I get it. It's an, it's that's why I said it's an analogy. Free, free go and, that's and, why I said it's an analogy. Just like you are, just like just like Vaughn is. If I said something untrue, I didn't. But if I did, I'll own it. I never said anything that was untrue about anybody. Matter of fact, I generally try to avoid talking about you two. Well, you don't do enough avoiding, that's for sure. You don't, I mean, you say you try. I mean, you don't try and not hard enough. On, uh, yeah, I was on uh, the guy from uh, Denmark. Um, the guy from what? Oh, the Irish guy, the Irish Jewish guy that was in Denmark. Okay. Denmark? What happened to Denmark? Yeah, no, but I was, there was a guy up that I was on one time. He's talking about Irish history. And I went on there. And I, and I had no idea really that it was Vaughn's, one of Vaughn's detractors. He was talking about his brother getting murdered in prison. I got on there because I enjoy talking about the troubles and asking questions. Uh, well, you should have consulted me. I could have told you. Well, I can I can ask you, or I can go to a primary source that lived through it with his brother. Mm -hmm. His brother was straight up assassinated in in prison. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they'll well, shake it out. What, what do you think? Show. What do you think is going to happen to Trump once he gets in DC jail? They're going to have a liberal, some liberal shanking. You you can bet on it. I mean, I don't. I still don't believe that Trump's going to prison, but let's see. Let's let's see what happens. He turned himself in today. He oh, turned tomorrow. himself he's, into the authorities he's today. Into, no, tomorrow. Tomorrow. He's, he's, tomorrow. Tomorrow. he's got to give his. He's got to give his speech tonight. Yeah, he's with Tucker tonight. That may be pre-recorded, though, John. It, they, that may be pre-recorded. That may not be live. Oh, that's true. You might be right on that. Yeah, but but he but he, uh, Trump said he was turning himself in on Thursday. Giuliani, yeah. went, Giuliani went yesterday. What is with this going after these lawyers of his? They're, they're, he, Hil Hillary, Clinton, Hillary Clinton is on a tear. She wants to destroy every facet of, of Donald Trump's life. She's like, he's goddamn YouTube trolls. They want to destroy every facet of his life. Yeah. Uh, Hillary's a Freemason, isn't she? Can't be a Freemason. Yeah. yeah she's a Freemason. Well, she, the, she, she, the female she, version of it, whatever the female version of it is. Um, uh, Eastern Star. Is that That's Eastern it. Star? I thought Eastern Star was some Catholic bullshit or something. No, Eastern Star is it's for the couples. Like my grandma and grandpa were Eastern Star. Eastern Star, oh, okay. And but my mom was not an Eastern was not an Eastern Star. What about Knights of Columbus? I, you know, the Knights of Columbus. What is that again? That's, That's like the Catholic Columbus organization, Catholic. right? Yeah, I guess. But they're like Freemasons, though, right? They're like fake, fake version of the Freemasons. No, Knights of Columbus are basically guys that get together and they they have social events and they have like single yeah. and and they drink. Um, you know, I, I it's not really. I think you're confusing it with maybe the Jesuits. Oh yeah, the, yeah, yeah, those guys. The Jesuits, Jesuits are are heavily in the uh, CIA. CIA loves Jesuits. If you go back and look at their history, they go to, they go to old families, and old families with uh, with Jesuit, you know. So it, the CIA is a family business. See, they they recruit people. Like let's take take for example Barack Obama. Barack Obama spent his summers interning just like Tucker with the CIA. Yeah. His yep. his mom and dad were his CIA. Ste his stepfather his stepfather was a CIA agent in, in Indonesia. That's he was running guns, uh, drugs, and guns, and assassinating people over there in Asia. Well, his mom was too. You know, it's uh, yeah. His mother. I don't really know too much about the mom. Uh, she was uh, something else, a bit of a character. She was on the. Uh, from what I understand, she you know they just like Ruth Payne that where uh, Lee Harvey Oswald lived. They both. They both work for like GMOs or, or organizations, not the Red Cross, but Red Cross type deal, you know, future planning of soil development team. They go in to, you know, help out, but they're actually CIA. Ruth Payne, 
Ruth Payne went all over the world now, well, South America. She was actually run out of uh, San, uh, San Salvador, maybe, uh, as a CIA agent. They actually wouldn't let her off the plane, made her leave. Uh, mm. She was there as a Mormon. No, as an Amish or Mennonite person helping them set up mills. Wood cutting. Sounds about right. I remember a big news story a couple of years ago. Remember Haiti had that huge uh, earthquake and disaster killed like half the country. And then the Hillary Foundation went in, the Clinton Foundation went yeah. in and claimed to help them and bring all this stuff. And it was all just, they just, just basically stole all the money and just basically set the country up to be enslaved and debt. Also, also had a lot of, they had a lot of uh, kidnapping occurred too. A lot of kidnapping occurred. Yeah. Speaking of kidnapping occurring after a disaster, they're still looking for all those uh, missing children in Hawaii. Um, they sent oh, them dude, home. dude, you missed. They sent, you them, missed home. 12, they sent them home. Twelve hundred of them, or something like that. <laughs> you missed the video. You missed the video. This 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 reporter goes up to the mayor, tries to ask him three times about the missing kids, and the police kept getting in his fucking way and wouldn't let him really? ask the question. Yeah, and and the police even put him in a headlock at one point. And he, but oh, he I got to see this video. But he finally got, he finally got up to the mayor, okay, or mayor, governor, whatever. And he, and he asked him point blank. He said, you know, you've got the cadavers, you've got the dead bodies. How many of the bodies are children? He wouldn't answer. And then, That's and then, the, and then the, the reporter asked him, well, how many bodies are, how many children are still missing? And he, he couldn't, he couldn't answer that one either, or wouldn't answer. He wouldn't answer. He just wouldn't, he wouldn't answer. answer. He kept blowing him off. Okay, they they know the devastation uh, that was going on. And like I said, there's no question. I mean, you've got trees that are still standing upright. Um, and you got buildings that have literally been destroyed and, and looks like big circle them. spots, like a laser beam hit it. Yeah, yep. like a, exactly like a laser beam. And you know what's so and funny is all these rich people, there's like another well, they're calling this a conspiracy theory, but all these rich people's houses are painted blue, like oh, are not doing, are not are not hit at all yet, which not is impossible. Which is impossible. Right. I mean, when you're in a, when you're in the midst of an inferno, and supposedly a inferno that was being fueled by a hurricane, for fuck's sake, that hurricane wind is not going to give a fuck whether you're Oprah Winfrey or or Ted Nugent or whoever the fuck you are. They're going to destroy your shit. Okay, they don't give a damn who you are. Okay, but yet Oprah Winfrey. And uh, the comedian that played uh, Animal Peck Detective, what, what was it? Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey, yeah. Yeah, Jim Carrey, Oprah Winfrey, and a bunch of these rich elitist uh, uh, people, their homes were not touched. And and it was an inferno, a lit supposedly a literal I, but inferno. But I guess, what is it, I guess? I guess the color blue is able, you're able to see it better from the outer space or something, so the laser beam doesn't hit it? I mean, what's, I don't know. I don't get the connection. I don't, get the I, I don't know. I, I saw I don't something know. about the blue color. I don't know what that means. I think that's just probably just, they want uniformity in their, in their, yeah. yeah. Well, um, they, they were saying that, well, you know what's so funny? Jim Brewer, he's a, fu he's a funny comedian. He says, he anything bad happens, it always has to do with blue. I don't know. Well, blue, blue is <laughs> one of my haters. So, I mean, there you go. Yeah, right? blue, that's what I was saying. I was yeah, that blue is one blue of my blood. haters. So, there blue you blood. go. It's, it, it fits, man. It's, it definitely fits. I, I, really like, I like Vivek Ramaswamy. I would like to see him as a vice president. Uh, I do like Vivek. I do like him. Well, here, here's, the, here's the thing about Ramaswamy. He's probably the same way as, as, uh, as, uh, as, uh, um, um, as, uh, uh, the guy down in Florida. Oh, fuck. Um, uh, uh, Ron DeSantis? No, 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 no. The senator. Um, he tried to run for president. He tried to run for president. Jeb Bush? No, fuck no. Although Jeb Jeff Bush and, and Ron DeSantis are tied at the hip, you know. Yeah, the Bush saying. family. Yeah. But uh, yeah. But anyways, uh, no, the, the, the Cuban guy. Uh, fuck. Mar Mar oh. Marco Rubio. Marco Rubio. Marco Rubio. Oh, yeah. Okay, Marco Rubio can't run because he's Cuban. All right. Ted Cruz can't run because he's Canadian. And I suspect this Vivek Rims away. Canadian, uh, Mexican. Guy, he's half I'm, Mexican, half Canadian. Think about and that. I, and, I'm, and I'm thinking that this Vivek Ramsway guy is in the same boat. He's probably he's probably not an American, and so therefore, 
you know, I mean, I mean, the Ram, uh, Vavik Ramswamy is poetic. I mean, they're already, I mean, Indians are already taking over America. You might as well just make one a president. The Indians, right? the Indians are, 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 are pagan and they're good people. They, they got a good work ethic. They're, they're strong on family. I don't see a problem with them. You know, I don't, I don't see a problem yeah, with them at all. They're not pagan. Yeah. They are pagan. They believe in they multiple are pagan. deities. Hindus, Hindus, are Hindus pagan. Hindus believe in multiple deities, bro. They are pagan. Technically speaking, they're not pagan because of the way the definition of paganism is. Yeah, the is way people are used the definition today, they're not pagan because pagan, they're not but... evil as fuck. But you got to understand that pagan doesn't always mean evil, okay? Pagan pagan is an umbrella term. It, it, it grabs up everything that isn't a Christian, a Jew, or a Muslim, okay? So when well, you know, so you get, we're all pagans, and then we split up. Uh, you know, well, this person's Wiccan, this person's a Druid, this person's a Zoroastrian, this person is eclectic, this person is is Hindu, this person is Greek. This, you know, uh, but but the term pagan is an umbrella term. Um, and what but, makes it complicated is that technically, also, Vaughn, I don't know if you realize this, but Hindus aren't technically polytheists; they're technically monotheists. Because mm. Hindu is yeah yeah they are because Hindus believe everything <clears throat> comes from one source. Yes, well, are there okay. All right. okay, okay, are there multiple deities? Yes, but they also believe those multiple deities well, go well, from one yeah, source. Well, everything come from one source ultimately. <laughs> I guess I mean, so. Yeah, yeah you know. So I mean, you can make that argument shit. about being Catholic. You know, the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. You know, there's well, three. Yeah, that's yeah, idol worship. See, that's idol worship. They, well, they want to argue that that's not really a polytheistic uh, idea. That's because there are three parts of one deity, and I, I don't know. Too. It's split sure. here. You know, it's, it's it's see. Here's the thing: the when the Bible was written, they converted it. Uh, good old King James, especially, he really he really torched it. But the Catholics did too, because they they took out every reference of polytheism that they could find, but they missed a few. Because there was a couple passages in Mr. the Bible where it, says, where, where it says, let us go down and confuse their language. Let us con uh, 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 stop them from what they're doing. Let nothing be impossible to them, which I thought was incredible. What those an incredible are, thing for those, a deity. Those are angels are talking about. Those are angels are talking about coming down. What, a, what an incredible thing for a deity to say. Let us go down and confuse their language. Let nothing, nothing. Be impossible to them. Well, that's, that's just a mistrans. That's actually is, just a mistranslation. No, it's not it a mistranslation. Because no, in the no, original no, Hebrew, no, it doesn't no, say no. us. I grabbed the Strong's. I grabbed Strong's and read it out of it, Strong's. I grabbed the Greek, read it out of Greek. I got the Hebrew, read it out of Hebrew. No, it is not. It's Poly Elohim, more than one deity. Okay, and they told us. They said we got to go down there and confuse their language because nothing will be impossible to them, and that is a very profound statement. Because that, that tells me that we're a hell of a lot more than what we think we are. Because why else would they need to repress us and chain us up if we're can, just a bunch of nobody I, robots walking around? I just watched a very, I watched a video on the Tower of Babel. And it was talking about this very thing, about confusing the languages. And they were, you know, the, the Bible story that I was always told, and hell, I'm, this is just what a guy said online, but it made sense to me, that the Tower of Babel was built to reach God. That's not the case. It was built to be high enough they could put a virgin. So you don't at the get top. The, yeah, they don't get flooded again. And they could put they could put the virgin at the top and get the nephilim to come back down. They were trying to bring gods back down to earth through the use of a virgin at the top of the Tower of Babel by putting this radiant beauty up there that would attract the nephilim because they couldn't control themselves. That was supposed to be the issue there. They were trying to re reintroduce and tempt the issue with the giants again and all that bullshit. Oh, I don't know. I don't remember hearing. I never anything. heard of that before. I don't remember it, hearing I, anything I, about that in my studies, but I mean, you know, I. Well, I don't, once again, it's not in my studies. I just watched a stupid video, but it kind of makes sense. He backed it up with Bible, and I don't know. I, I said I'm not a Bible scholar. I don't claim to be. Mm. But, I don't uh, know. I don't know. But that's, that's, that's that sounds more realistic. Take. That sounds more realistic than trying to build a. A tower. Yeah, because getting to God is impossible Into because Stratus God lives it. outside of time and space, so you're not getting there. I mean, that's that's not happening. So yeah, that, that that that's an interesting take. I have to I have to look into that. Actually, that's an interesting take, and it may and it may very well be legitimate. I don't know. You know, I can see I can see where they would want to uh, try to bring them back because remember one of uh, one of the uh, people in the Bible wrestled with an angel and said, "I will not let you go until you bless me," and he was finally forced to bless him uh, before uh, before uh, uh, he could let go. He would let go. So.
I don't know. We'll see. Uh, that sounds interesting. I'll have to look into that. I'll have to look into that for sure. Yeah, I was, I was, I've been watching a lot of stuff on the Nephilim. That's, that's where I'm going with this. And the Anunnaki, right. Nephilim. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's just something that interests me. I don't know if I prescribe any credit really to it all, except for what's written directly in the Bible. It says there were giants and heroes amongst us in the past or whatever. Mm -hmm. and they talk about that. They talk about the breeding and they talk about the monsters that were created. Mm -hmm. You know, they talk about the, the giants that they that I think David came across when they were going back to Israel. John, mm -hmm. was that where they sound the, the well? That's the, that's the funny thing about that story. See, everybody talks about David versus Goliath, but what they don't talk about is that Goliath had five brothers. See, they don't talk about that, and why they don't talk about it, I do not know. But they don't talk about it. But yeah, Goliath had five brothers. There were six of them. Six being the number of man. See, see how it all ties in. And, but he had five brothers, okay? So when David got done with Goliath, he had to go hunt down his five brothers and kill them too. He didn't have a choice. I, I didn't know that. But I see, that. a lot of people don't talk about that. You know, it's not widely discussed, and, and it probably should be, because six is the number of man, right? Yeah. So it's interesting that he that he had five brothers, and David had to go kill the five brothers also. So it well, was I think very it's interesting, interesting that, that the Bible, the giants in the Bible were, were cannibals, Yes. Well, and, all giants were cannibals. And, and Anasazi talked about the cannibal giants in the New World. Well, the the, the, the supposedly the, supposedly the, the, well supposedly the giant of Kandahar was eating the human soldiers that it came across when the second group of soldiers came across it. That they were it was eating the the uh, the first group of soldiers. So, because they kept remember they kept finding the equipment. It, it was they, they kept finding equipment as the further they went up the mountain. They kept finding equipment from these soldiers. Like, what the fuck? Here's some equipment. Where's the soldiers? Yeah, well, the cannibal, they, they, they definitely would have kept. Huh? Uh, yeah, they kept finding guns and personal things that, they, that the soldiers would have kept. They wouldn't have dropped them. Unless they correct. It was yeah. And that well, see, that's what confused them. They're like, well, now wait a minute. Here's his gear. Here's his weapon. Here's all of his shit. It couldn't be. It couldn't be terrorists. Because the terrorists would have took his gun at, at least, if not his gear. And so what's going on? And so, you know, so they kept, but the higher they went up the mountain, the more gear they found from the, from the first group of, of soldiers. And that's and like, him, right? But the smell was what freaked them out to begin with. The I think the, the yeah, they, when they got close to the, to the entrance of the cave, the smell was apparently unbearable. Right. Because this thing was literally eating these soldiers. And so the smell was awful. And uh, and then and then finally they provoked it and it come out and and it and it stabbed one of the soldiers, uh, literally shish kebabbed him, and um, I guess was gonna was just about to eat him too. And they they started opening fire and I guess they finally took the beast down. But um, that's scary. It's scary to know that shit like that would exist. You know, I and, would uh, eat you. <laughs> I, mean, I don't, I don't, I don't know, but I mean, I've, I've heard, I've heard the stories about the Kandahar giant, but I mean, there's, there's lots of things that have been found over and over again. I mean, they, you know, they found all kinds of Egyptian shit in the, supposedly in the uh, Grand Canyon. Well, well, what I do mean, you think? What do you think Snake Mound in Ohio is? That's a giant burial ground. That's what that is. That big ass egg at the end of the snake in Snake Mound. It's full of dead giants. Absolutely, that's exactly what it is. Now, Ohio ain't going to admit that shit, but that's what it is. Because when you live in Ohio all your life and grow up there, you learn some shit. And I'm telling you, that's a giant burial ground. I'm telling you it is. I learned some shit. I learned bitch. some shit, Maynard. At the, first, <laughs> the first day of spring, at the spring equinox or whatever it is, yeah, this little sun rises perfectly between two mountains over the head of the snake. Correct. If you're, standing, if you're sitting there on top of the snake head, which you can't get on top of it, but, but by it, yeah. you see... Uh, Graham Hancock pointed that out. Right. Yeah. Well, uh, the pyramids in Mexico and other Central American and South American countries, uh, when the sun comes up, it literally travels down the body of the snake, down to the head, down at the base of the of the uh, pyramid. Every time the sun comes up. 
They, they designed it that way. They designed it in such a way to where that when the sun comes up, it stair steps isn't down. That re- isn't that snake. remarkable that they had the ingenuity to do yeah, that? How, uh, yeah. You know, this, this, oh, they're so primitive. They're primitive people. I mean, we're talking about Native Americans, which are like even more primitive than the average American, you know, the average uh, human Well, the human thing of it is, you know, if they're so damn primitive, how'd they come up with all this shit? How yeah. was they able to align them pyramids in such a way to where that the snake would literally be illuminated? <laughs> as as the sun comes yeah. up uh, you know that takes ingenuity that takes creativity that takes intelligence it takes mathematics you know, they, this, it takes, this, mathematics. This, it takes, it takes, uh, it takes geometry. mathematics it geometry. takes geometry it takes all kinds yeah exactly and so you know th- this idea that oh these guys were primitive i'm not buying it i'm not buying it i like i said i found this ancient uh observatory uh, where the fuck did I find it at? It was, uh, I want to say Peru, but I could be wrong. But it's an ancient observatory. I mean, it's got the dome and everything. And it's got the slit for to put your telescope through and everything. And it's like, what the fuck? I mean, it was an actual observatory. And, you know, it, but it's primitive. It was from back in the days of the primitives, supposed primitives. And it's like, yeah, these guys weren't dumb. These guys weren't stupid. There was, they were, they were intelligent. They didn't have a lot to work with back then, but they weren't stupid. They were. Intelligent. I don't think it was them, though. To be honest with you, I all think these, it was a higher life form. These, it could be higher life forms aliens. helping. Yeah. All these yeah. civilizations you're talking about, and many more, all go back to the man with the handbag, the man. Person. Right. Yeah, ancient that, Sumer. Yep, and, and they and they say, or some go, some even go so far as to say Atlantis, even. Well, um, Atlantis would predate ancient Sumer, even yeah. yeah. So, I mean, they, they well, leave me. Your, I was, I was reading. Well, I was reading up on on Lemuria, uh, which is another Atlantis type country, and then uh, there was a third. There was a third one as well, but I can't remember the name of the third one. But I was looking up Lemuria last night, and um, you know, and 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 it was funny because the article says, "Hey, we we buried this shit." And then the thing of it is, a bunch of scientists got a hold of it, looked it up, and it's like, oh shit, it's real. <laughs> and what they, how they were able to prove that Lemuria existed was pretty cool, actually. They followed the migratory uh, flights of birds, and they said, here's the, the birds are flying over this this area that's nothing but water. Okay, the the inference being, one time there wasn't no water there; there was land there. Because in birds, the migratory flights of them birds never change, and they they were flying over this area mm, of where supposedly the Miria actually. existed, and here's these birds all flying, there, but they can't land because there's no land there. So they just you know then they go on to the next uh, area, but uh, that was very significant find. They were able to find that yeah, Lemuria existed, man, because them birds migratory patterns don't change, and they they flew over that area where Lemuria supposedly existed. And they couldn't land, so then then they moved on to the next uh, waypoint, as it were. But uh, but yeah, very interesting way of discovering that Lemuria existed. I thought that was pretty neat. And uh, but yeah, so Lemuria is real. Atlantis is real. Um, we know Babylon is real. We know Sumer is it's real. It's real, Leonard. It's real, Leonard. But we know everything. We the, you know a lot of these old wives' tales. You know they've they've been proven to be true after a while. You know, chicken soup. I mean, holy shit, who would have thought? You know, but yeah, chicken soup yeah. will really help you. You know, I'm taking I'm taking a secret weapon right now that that they call uh, the the uh, let's see uh, uh, the cure for everything but death. <laughs> <laughs> it's the cure for everything but death. Is what the, that's the nickname of the stuff I'm taking to keep from getting the COVID or the COVID vax. And uh, because remember, the you know, Biden administration wants to pump that shit right. Oh, in I don't the think we can talk food. about this. We're on YouTube, remember? We're oh, on yeah. YouTube. Yeah. Gotta be careful. I uh, gotta be careful. Well, the, the Biden administration said that publicly. They said they wouldn't put. Well, it that's in true, it. but I don't. But that, that that doesn't stop YouTube from doing what they do. So that's true. Yeah, YouTube I mean, does what they Biden, do. Biden, they're gonna start cracking down on stuff people say about Biden very soon. I mean, probably. He fell asleep for God's sake in Hawaii. I know. Jesus. <laughs> I know. One job, Joe. One job. One job. Yep. One job. Stay awake. Woke Didn't up. Told a lie about his house being on fire. Well, it took him what a fire. week to go out there. He's literally yeah. Yeah. He's a week behind, right? Yeah. It's a day late and a dollar short, as they say. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's that's not that. You know, I could see it being a day late or something, but a week. I mean, shit. George Bush was out the next day on top of the rubble on 9-11. I know Holy he was shit. down on the rubble. He was down on the top of the rubble, saying, "We'll we'll get these people that did this." And yeah. so you know, full of shit. But I mean, that was it, a that was actually good. powerful. That was one of the it was most a powerful. powerful yeah, that was a powerful yeah. thing. You know, but, but he said, I mean, he said, we can't hear you. We can't hear right, you. Right, and the guy started, yeah, the guy shouted out, I can't, can't hear, you. hear you. Yeah. yeah. And they say, yeah, well, they all, hear you. these people that did is going to hear us soon. Yeah. yeah. They're hear us mm-hmm. all. They're going to hear us all yeah. soon. That's right. And then you play the that was very game. powerful. That was very powerful and moving. Uh, it, and it's a shame it had to be wasted on a globalist like Bush. But yeah. oh well. Freemason, right? Yep, yeah, Freemason. Yeah, Freemason. Yeah, another Freemason. There you go. Another Freemason. I don't think he's a Freemason, but. He's pretty, I'm pretty sure he is. Or Skull and Bones is one of those people. He was Skull and Bones. He was in Yale. Same, same thing, same difference. Secret societies are an anathema to a free people. That's what it said. That's what the man said. That's what the man That's said. What the man said. <laughs> he said. Come I'll wait till he comes back to time. He went to go get a Mountain Dew. Oh. Gotta get a do do. You gotta get a do do. Gotta get a do do. I've been cutting back on my soda, saving money. Yeah, soda's no good, man. Soda's expensive as shit, too. I get it on seal, you know, four for eight or whatever it is. Pepperex, sit tight because that's the question I was going to ask Vaughn. I just haven't got to it yet. We got talking about something else. Isn't Pat Rex one of the trolls? I think he's uh, one of the trolls, actually. I don't know so if he's, I don't know if he is or not. But I was going to ask Bond because <laughs> uh, he just asked a simple question. All he did was ask you if, if you guys know about. Yeah, but trolls are not trolls are not allowed on the channel though. That's they're not allowed here. Well, he what did asked, he? What did you say? What did you say? He said, he said Indians landed a spaceship on the moon. The Indian in, in, Indians in India, red dots or feathers? Well. Indians in India, real Indians. Indians, okay, red. Yeah, I, I, just, I just watched it. I just, well, watched, I just watched it. There are actually, well, don't say that. Don't say real Indians because na- there are Native American tribes that will prefer to be called Indians than Native Americans. There's that actually a thing that, that they, yeah. they, they they get mad when you don't call them Indians. They want to be called Indians. So, right. Well, they came from Indian. Mother Russia, so I mean, you know, yeah, which is just they? north of what country, India? <laughs> so I mean, I, mean, well, I don't know. You never know, right? There's, there's yeah. it's mo- more like Mongolia is where they think. Yeah, it's closer to Mongolia, I guess. Yeah, but but they had to come into Russia because they had yeah, to come, they had to come to Russia. They had to hit the land bridge. Yep, had to hit the land bridge. But uh, but yeah, right, so yeah. then they, and, and it's it's sad that they killed the indigenous white and black folk that lived here. Of course, we still got the statues, so that's good. We got the statues. What, what black people were here? Oh God, son! Yeah, the black, the black folk, the black folk were in South America, and the white folk were in North America. I thought you knew that. I thought everybody knew that shit. Let me get you. Let me get you a picture and show you. So, so let me. So let me get this straight. You're saying that the Mayans and the Aztecs they had trade. Yeah, that. Where, where, where do you? Th- what, what do you? Where do you think they got all these human sacrifices from, bro? <laughs> think about it. Where did you get all? Where did they get all these human sacrifices? Well, it was the neighboring tribes. They they captured no, them war no. and they sacrificed them. That's what the Aztecs no. did. No, no, they didn't. I'm gonna sacrifice you on the altar. Nah. Die, motherfucker, die. All right, they let me get that. Uh, all right, this there is there is just like there's shit tons of these motherfuckers, but um, I will um, endeavor to. Well, Ron, okay, because one of the well, with diversion off the topic, what did you want to talk about? What was the topic? Well, in in the wall, in the in the in that wall they built that has all the face heads. Yeah, there, there is a what they would consider, in their words, not mine, a negroid look. Yes, throw it up there, John. And so, I mean, look at them. Know. There they are. Okay, like I said, we've got we've got proof that black folk were here before the na- so-called Native Americans, the so-called Indians. Um, this, these statues were around thousands of years before the Native Americans ever thought about being here, and they're, uh, they're called Olmecs. now. So they're, some some people are calling these Olmecs, yeah, um, which that's fine. I don't care what you call them, but then then they then they totally jumped the shark and tried to say that these people were either Indian or they came here after the Indians, which is total horseshit. These people predate the Indians by thousands of years. Okay, and we've got proof in these statues. These statues don't lie. 
Okay, so um, you know you got to be she careful. Don't about lie, she don't lie. She don't lie. She don't lie. Cocaine, but well, you got to be careful of the information that's out there because there's a lot of disinfo out there, tons of it, and well, so believe, you got to be careful. I believe, and then there's some credibility. I believe to this. I think one of the oldest living uh, examples of human that they found was in South America. There's yeah. actually an argument. That well, says that's what I'm saying. We found okay. started in Africa. I uh, started in South America and right. then went to Africa. Okay. Well, that's the thing. Here we we've got we've got seven skeletons thus far. Uh, I think it's four white and three black, or is it four black and three white? Anyway, it doesn't matter. We've got seven skeletons thus far of these ancient Americans that were here before the Native American got here. They, the, wait, the, the, uh, the, the skeletons are uniquely Caucasian. Okay, so, you know, that's, sorry guys, but that's true. The, the skeletons are Caucasian. And and primarily in the north, and then the skeletons in the south are primarily Negroid skeletons, and so these people were here; they existed, and like I said, they came from Mongolia up through Russia, across the Bering Strait, and just started slaughtering as they went. It is the greatest mass slaughter of humankind in the world, and no one is talking about it. And the native, so-called Native Americans, are trying their best to cover it up, but as we find more and more and more skeletons, it's you know. They're just not going to be able to do it. You know what's so funny? Um, I forgot who was talking about this. I think it was Stephen Crowder talking about this. Really? There were a bunch of Native Americans um, that were complaining. Well, they, they – okay. So these Native Americans said they, they went to this church, and they and they did like a ground X-ray, and they go, oh, it's a, it's a, it's a mass burial ground. Oh, the Christians, they, <laughs> they murdered thousands of Native Americans and buried uh -huh. them. And um, – and then this Native American tribe was was huffing up the press and saying, "Look, it's right. another genocide by the white man against right. the red man." Right. Uh -huh. And it turns out after the study that it wasn't a mass grave. It was like some I don't know what it was. It was just like a uh, it was like a sewage drain where they would took a shit and it went into a, like a cess, like a sump. Uh -huh. So they when they did the X rays, the human remains of, of feces kind of looked like human remains, but it wasn't right. bones. It was fecal matter. Right, right. So this this is this is the funny thing, Yvonne. And well, not funny, but sad. The Native American tribe they were upset that they didn't find uh, human remains of Indians that were genocide because now we can't blame the white man. Right. They were disappointed that they couldn't have hate towards white people. Right. For well, for that's, see, that's in, it's in vogue now to hate white folk. It's, you it's know, in vogue it's like, now. You know? Wouldn't you? You would think you would be happy that the white man didn't commit genocide. Right. Right? You, you would, would think, think, oh, yeah. millions of people didn't die. You oh, think. that would be great. But you no, know. they were upset that they didn't commit genocide because now they can't get reparations and they can't, right. you know, claim all this stuff about how evil the white man is. Oh, yeah. well, actually, it turned out different. Well, we, the church the they, Columbia, that was on top uh, Columbus, of that. Columbus unknowingly. Uh, unknowingly brought a lot of smallpox and killed off most native americans wow well, no nope, I mean, wrong sorry wrong uh wrong i did a video on this i did wrong, a video on this you're video. wrong uh it was uh, what happened was uh it was the british it was not the americans it was not columbus it was the british the british came over here with those blankets and and in fact, not that only was, did not only was, did the that British America. that that was oh, actually, hold, I'm not going to argue with Vaughn on this because you better not argue with British me people, on this. I did okay, a video on it, and I'm an amateur historian. I know what I'm talking about. The British came over here with them blankets, and here's the funny thing: they not only gave the blankets to the Indians, but they tried to give the blankets to George Washington as well. And and some of Washington's people actually caught caught ill and almost died. And uh, and Washington's like, yeah, you can have your fucking blankets back. He was he was more polite about it than I am, but um, basically it's like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, take your fucking blankets. And uh, but yeah, it was. It, but uh, they were going to wipe out Washington's men with those blankets too, just like they did the Indians. Okay, so no, it was the British. The British did it. Sorry, Brits. <laughs> sorry, it's it's true. Right? Sorry, I got to tell the truth here. But uh, but yeah, it was the British. It was not it was not Columbus. It was not okay. Americans. It was it was it was the British. The British I, came over with the blankets, and they were covered in smallpox, they, they, and they wiped did. out the Indians. White tried to wipe out George Washington's men too. Like I said, they did. And, uh, they did that in nineteen or excuse me, they did that in I mean, 1763 the, to sixty four. You the know US what the thing about this is that Indians, you know we we judging but, people we're judging people from today's standard. From today's did standard. Christopher but, but, Columbus do things that are wrong? Maybe, maybe not. My point but is, but by the standard, by the standards of the 14, 1492, the fifteen, the fifteen hundreds, 
that that it's what he did isn't you know as evil as people make it out but we should be happy that he came to america we found a country that we can go to right i mean we found a place we, we became a country that was one of the greatest countries on earth historically speaking the united states well he found well he discovered kind of puerto rico and stuff but but it, whatever the north american region and you know, we got to be lucky that we should be lucky, you know, that, and not only that, but he went, when he went back to Europe, they arrested him and they put him in prison anyway. So it's a mute point. You know, it's a yeah. mute point. Did, did, was he doing bad well, things to the, Native Americans? No, he wasn't but, doing anything worse than he had what other out. people were doing. They had already wiped out in the 1500s. Well, that, that's the thing. Everybody was killing everybody. And so nobody's hands is clean in that regard because everybody yeah. was killing everybody. Taking people as slaves and selling them, it's a con that was a common occurrence. As a matter of fact, it was, you know, European white people were the ones that banned slavery first. Yeah, it, was the, it was actually the whites so, that banned it, you know. So I'm I don't know why why we gotta do shit. Because white folk, well, I call I say we because I keep getting called a cracker. Um, but the thing of it is is that you know, white folk were the ones that got rid of slavery. You'd think people would be happy about that yeah. instead of trying to demand reparations from people that that tried to abolish it like i said uh if you actually read the original constitution not the bastardized version we have today but the original constitution the written by the founders of incorporated the articles of confederation uh it was no it was the original constitution See, the constitution we're under now is a bastardized version of the original written by the founders we had the um, articles of confederation and that was from 1776 to 1781 right and then in 1781, they had the Constitutional Convention, which right. is, which basically they got together and overthrew the government again. Right. That, yeah, but it was peaceful. It was peaceful, yeah. But even the Glorious Revolution in Britain uh, was called a revolution, and it was glorious because no one died. Right. Still a revolution. They, took, they changed the government. Right. The point is, though, is that... Uh, well, the, the point is that Trump is, uh, you know, 91 <laughs> in counts of <laughs> for, for sedition for what we're talking about here. Ron right? Helton was right again. <laughs> Trump is going to jail. Trump Everybody, tried to oh, overthrow the government. Oh, Trump, Trump ain't going to go to jail. Vaughn is full of shit. Trump ain't going to go to jail. Uh, I got to turn myself into jail today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's going to jail. He's going to jail. Sorry. I mean, he may only be in there 24 hours, but by the gods, he's going to jail. So I was right. Sorry about your luck. Now, he is going to try to get bond. They said that his bond's been set at $200,000. So they're going to try and, you know, get him out on bond. But they may not succeed at that. There's no guarantee. Because the judge yeah, could say, true. fuck you. I'm, I'm not interested in giving him bond. I'm not interested. You well, know, because they're trying to. They're, what they're trying to do now, Woody, I don't know if you heard this. What they're trying to do now, they're trying to say he's a flight risk. And they're wanting to put an ankle bracelet on him and uh, keep him and, and, and keep him here. That way, well, Trump shot himself in the foot with that, with, with uh, being a flight risk. Because I think he put out a truth the other day talking about, he yeah, he was, yeah, he posted about that. Yeah. yeah, he was, he was kind of, he was kind of bomb blasting him about that a little bit. Uh, but the thing of it is, I mean, he does have his own private jet for fuck's sake. I mean, you know. Yes, well, the, even though you have a private jet, you still have to register with the, with the with the FAA uh, FAA that does the flights yeah. and stuff. So. Yeah. That's that's true, uh, but yeah, I mean it's it's criminal, interesting. You're criminal on the run, you're not going to take the time to file something with the FAA. Yeah, you're not going to file a deficit. No, if you well, well, if they no, well that no, that would be stupid because if they see a moving aircraft in the sky with radar, they shoot it down. They shoot it down. Bye. Yeah. You can't. You they just. You can't down. just get on a jet and just fly away. They the government would just fucking blast no, you. Out of the that's why the they have transponders. Because yeah. if you if you turn your transponder off, people are going to think you're a threat target and they're going to take you out. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's what the, that's what them jets flying over your head look for. They look for planes that ain't got their transponder turned on. And if you ain't got your transponder turned on, it's like, oh, you smuggling drugs, are you? And uh, they and then next thing you know, you got two jets on either side of your plane, and it's like, oh, we're fucked, you know? Because um, see, the, these smugglers see they got to turn off their transponder so they don't get picked up by radar, and everybody's like, yeah, fuck that. No, you're going you're going to get shot down, motherfucker, if you don't turn on that transponder. So yeah. Yeah, that's the facts. Uh, uh, Pence for president? Are you fucking high, dude? Really? The traitor of, of the United States for president? No, no fucking way. George no Washington was way. infertile. To, uh, that's, that's a good point, Goldstein. 
That's a good point. Trump oh, could hide out in New Jersey. Ain't no one going to want to go there to rest. That's true. New Jersey is a show. Though, yeah. Reminds me of the old joke. What's the difference between New Jersey trash and New Jersey trashy women? The trash gets picked up. The trash gets picked up, but the women don't. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's hateful, Woody. That's that's, hateful, that's, out, that's outright bigoted. That's actually. sexist. That's sexist. That's, yeah, we're canceling Woody. <laughs> we're canceling you, man. That's we're going to cancel you, Woody. You're canceled. Show I don't have. Ain't no rest for the wicked. The wicked. Money don't, Money grow, don't on grow on trees. trees. I'm going to have to do that song. So, I got bills to pay. I got mouths to feed. So here's, here's something world. that should infuriate everybody. It won't, but it should. Mm. That they tied the Hawaiian uh, money to a Ukraine spending bill. Uh, so that Hawaii oh. got $20 billion and Ukraine got 40 on the same fucking bill. Oh, my why, God. Why, are, why are they not? I mean, there should be riots breaking out over this. There yeah. should be. Should but be. the American public has become so dumbed down that they, they just they don't care. They don't give a shit. And then and see, and then you got Q telling them, hey, don't do anything. Trust the plan. Trust the plan. Sit on your ass and trust the plan. Well, okay, we trust as a plan, and now Biden's in power. Now what? You know, but people's li listening to this damn Q shit. Oh, just trust the plan. Don't do anything. The White Hats have it under control. You know, even now, even now with Maui burning to the ground, they're sitting there saying, oh, we, well, it was planned that way. I'm like, oh, you fucking high, man. People are dead. What the fuck are you talking about? You know? However, on 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 a happier note, uh, the Marines went over there, found that there were people looting the dead bodies, and killed them on the spot. Ooh, dead, didn't hear so that, that was good. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, and, but you're not going to guess who it was. What are you you ready for this shit? Boxes. It was it was Hawaiian police and Hawaiian National oh. Guard. They were looting and killing. They were killing people and then looting the bodies. And the Marines come on there and found them and shot them dead. Oh, it's like, gosh. oh shit. I haven't heard that. I know that right now they have, you know, they still have tons of missing children. And the kids were sent home earlier that day and they didn't notify the parents. So right. a lot of kids. You know, there are, you know, there, you know, there, you know, you know what the sad thing about it is? Because you got this cocksucker that didn't raise the alarms that put the uh, sirens on. Yeah. And I was reading a news story that there were kids at home from school and they closed school that day and there were people trapped in their homes. Never. Yeah. yeah. Never even knew what happened because they, there was happened. no way of knowing, no alarms, no nope. nothing. And these people there was no time for an alarm. alarm. That beam comes down in a fraction of a second. There well, was no if time you believe for an alarm, I'm going with if you believe the the, the if narrative. You believe the narrative, the right. yeah, yeah. Even, so, even, well, even well, there was a hurricane off the coast, but I mean, it didn't go anywhere near Hawaii. It didn't. You know, well, they got they got they got strong winds. They should have. They got some out. wind. But, yeah, that the main thing it. is they had the uh, they had the. Uh, they just released this information that the power company wanted to remove all that grass stuff that caused the biggest part of this. And yeah, BlackRock and you have all these big old, uh, you know, uh, bankers who run, who own everything. They, they want to green, they want to go uh, green. So, uh, you know, now you can't you do all this and they want to upgrade everything. It's, it's all conspiracy. It was all about, about money. It was all about power. Now they're coming in and, and Blackwater wants to buy up all the properties and sell the land for on dollars, you know, mm -hmm. pennies on the dollar. Do you know make green cities, five minute cities, whatever the world you know, economic form calls the five minute cities, whatever. Yeah. It's it's sick. It's sick. They're murdering innocent people for the agenda, and it's it's yep. just sick. And people don't care. And that's the sad thing about it. Like, what are you saying? That there should be riots? Then the money gets siphoned to Ukraine on top of that. Yeah, I mean, that's I that's mean, why it's I was just like. I was fighting mad yesterday. And I know, and I very seldom ever get mad, but I, I do get a. For they gave the Biden wants to give one time check of seven hundred dollars to families, but another another forty billion to Ukraine in aid. What in the world? Of what? What's what is this guy thinking? Yep. Every you know, it, see that's the thing. If we was under the real Constitution, every one of them motherfuckers in D.C. would have been yeah. placed under arrest for what they've done. I, I don't see, believe him giving people free money or free, or, but, or, well, or see, that, doing that's, that shit. That, but that, I, that, but if you have your house blown up and you have your house burned down, and you have nothing, and you well, have that, that's cities the wiped out. Yeah, maybe they should. Get, maybe they should get. You know, these people should get. You know, five hundred thousand okay, dollars. All right, go buy a house John, in New York. You know, all right, John. John, the government says they that they will that the federal government will provide for the general welfare at hand. That's what that means. 
is when right. people are in well general health welfare i think it means just like you know it doesn't mean welfare like clean we have air, today. right yeah it, just it doesn't mean welfare air. like we have today right. it means like if you're in a bad spot and you need help yeah. they'll help you that's what it means but it doesn't yeah. mean you know get on the welfare dole or anything like that right, that's right. socialism and the founders were dead set against socialism we know this for a fact because aaron burrs told alexander hamilton hey come with me and they went outside and they had him a nice big duel and aaron <laughs> burrs shot him right between the fucking eyes Okay, so yeah, they don't they did not like big government back then. The founders didn't. They hated big government because that's what a king was. A king was big government. He was the big government of their day. And they, they hated that shit. Isn't it ironic that the founders hated King James and King George, yet the King James Bible is the Bible that's currently in the United States? I, I still can't get over that shit. It's like, how the fuck did the did the one of the people that the founders absolutely hated his Bible ends up being the Bible in America, man? It just cracks me up. <laughs> And, and not only that, but King James ripped out like 100 books, threw them in the trash, said, you don't need them books. Here, here's 66 books. You deal with that. And I'm like, ah. and then there's the then there's the co- the curse in the book of Malachi, which says, do not add to or take away from this book. And that's exactly what King James did. He took everything out. All, any references to reincarnation, any references to to uh, human beings being more than than the sum of their parts. That was all taken out. That was all removed, either by the Catholics or by King James, because they don't want you to know how powerful you are. They don't want you to know who you are, because I'm telling you right now, we don't know who we really are. We are we are somebody, um, not of what we think. Uh, we're a lot more powerful than we think we are. But see, oh, that over is the years, copy. over the centuries, we've we've we've. Okay, let me give you an example. Let me give you a real world example. Can any man tell me they can walk up to a woman and smell her pheromones? No, we lost that ability. Now, why did we lose that ability? Because of becoming a a cultured society, a civilized society, we ended up losing that shit. Okay, but see, in years past, uh, humanity would have been, the male human would have been able to smell the pheromones of the female, know when she's in heat, know when to, you know, copulate and have children. We lost that, though, didn't we? Yeah, we did. You can't smell a woman's pheromones anymore. We've lost that ability. Okay, so that's a real world example right there. And that's just that's just one. That's just one. There's numerous examples that I could cite. And the point is, is that we are a lot more than what we think we are. A lot more. Like I said, that passage in the Bible is is an interesting one. It says we gotta go down there and confuse their language because if we don't, they'll be capable of do- the fuck you doing? Leave me alone, you little brat. Biting on me in. Anyway, um, but yeah, the, we're a lot more powerful than we think we are. You get over here. All right. Uh, that being said, it's uh, oof, an hour and a half mark almost. Yep, hour and a half. Vaughn, you said you had an important phone call at 12, so we're going to wrap it up at 12? Yeah, I do. All right. Hopefully. And then we'll Hopefully come back later. Uh, we're going to play some Borderlands later. We're going to play some Borderlands. Yes, sir. Ooh, you know, I, okay. I bought that game because you guys were playing it. I like Oh, uh, you did? Which one? It. I bought it for my. I got all three. I bought about the package or whatever on Switch. Oh, so, did you? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. I've been tearing it up. Actually, I was. I'm absolutely loving it. Which which yeah, Borderlands? Which Borderlands? He, well, uh, he bought the collection. So well, he bought the whole uh, collection. Uh, Tales, okay. He bought Borderlands three, Borderlands two, and then uh, the, the what's the other one? And Borderlands one, GTOY. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's no, no. G, G, uh, Borderlands one is not included in the collection. Oh, it wasn't. No, I got oh. no. I, I got Borderlands the original. I played through it. He's oh, got he Borderlands okay. one, two, and three. Now, have you got the? Uh, have you got the? Uh, um, there was. Oh another God, what's one, the other the one pre- called? The prequel, yeah. I think it the is. Prequel, the prequel, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've got, got, I've got the prequel. Oh, okay. The prequel is okay. It's not as fun. I, I think the prequel is probably the 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 probably the the last one. I think the prequel, Borderlands one. I think three, and then two. I think two is probably the best of them all. Especially the DLC. The DLC in the, uh, Borderlands 2 is so much fun. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, but what is, uh, it? what is it? Well, we're still in Borderlands 1, me yeah, and Bob. We're we're fit, we actually beat the game. We just beat the game, beat two DLC, and we got one more DLC. We got to one play, more so. DLC to go, and we should be able to knock it out right quick. And then, and then we're, we're going to go on the Borderlands, Borderlands 2. Borderlands so. 2. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Cool. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Well, I'll let you guys go. Thank you for letting me on. Yep. All right. You have any final words, Woody, to say? Just uh, you know, pray for the uh, pray for the people in Hawaii. People in I mean, Maui, yeah, they're having they're having people right there. The and I'm all this last thing I want to say. I meant to say this earlier, but 
one of the issues they're dealing with right now in, in finding people is the heat was so hot it cremated people yeah yeah and 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 that's one of the issues they're having is there are finding piles of ashes that right. they know used to be people but how do you assign I don't know. I don't, I'm not that, I'm not that familiar with DNA. I you know, know. I, I know that's, that's I mean, tough, ashes, I don't know if you can do anything with that or not, or they dig through the ashes, look for, I'm not trying to be sick here, but some type of material that they can test. I don't know how that works, but I don't know how it works. Either. Apparently they're just finding that it looks like, it looks like a, an atomic bomb went off. Well, well, it I looks mean, like lasers are hitting them from it looks like directed space energy is weapons like. is what took it out because the, the, the trees, the trees are still standing. Okay. In an inferno, the trees would have got burned up too, guys. Okay, but they didn't. Okay, so that there's goes, pictures from the outer space, and you see little dots like boom, 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 uh, and then you have cars that are literally melted. The steel. You're saying those. Yeah. You saying the fires got so hot that it that, that melted the spell. The, the beams. Yeah. I sound like a 9/11 conspiracy. Uh, I mean, it's like, I mean, it's well, just like whatever. Yeah. I mean. You know, <laughs> people believe whatever they want to believe because it very well could have been like 9/11. You well, never know. Viv Vivek Ramswani has made it mentioned a couple of times that he wants to hold Saudi Arabia accountable for what their part was in the, yeah. uh, well, it's interesting that all these supposed terrorists on nine 11 were from Saudi Arabia or they were from countries friendly to Saudi Arabia. So, I mean, what's up with that shit, right? You know, yeah, they, they, were they magically found the passports of them. And they know, magically found all away, the passports perfectly intact <laughs> and perfect. Yeah. Perfectly <laughs> preserved. How's that work? Yeah, jet fuel is melting. Again, jet fuel is melting steel beams at the top, but yeah, they found an unscathed guy who inspired the ports at the bottom. <laughs> right, how? Exactly. How the fuck how is that happen? Let's not forget that before that, it's it had to survive the initial plane crash. Correct. So it had to go right. with that, that with, inferno. With, then right. it had to go through the secondary destruction of the explosion and tower. Mm -hmm. So it went through like two, three different little explosions for it to be found without dirt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly. Doesn't make any sense. By the way, the, the band that does the song is called Cage the Elephant. Ooh, uh, Elephant so is some kind of they're, they're a punk band, I guess. Some kind of punk band. Uh, very. I, I never heard them before. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, you know, been in been in music all my life, but I ain't never heard of y'all. But uh, anyway, well, they're a recently the new elephant. band. They're they're Cage the Elephant. They're a punk band, and uh, they're the ones that does the song for Borderlands. Ain't no rest for the wicked. So now you know, and knowing is half the battle, folks. Don, do you? Uh... Oh shit! I was gonna... Oh, if you if you follow this Las Vegas sphere, my... Las Vegas. Oh, the blue sphere that fell out of the sky. Uh, I I am of a mind no, 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 that no, no, is. No, no, no. I'm talking about the one they built. I'm talking about the one they built. The one they built. They built a massive sphere. And it is complete. And I say massive. It is massive. And it the entire outside of this massive ball sphere is LCDs. Yeah. And it completely can change. Oh yeah, and it, it was like it, an it eyeball. People, and yeah, they, yeah. I saw. Yeah, I saw that. And they put people's faces on it, and they can put all kinds of designs on it, and it lights up at night. And yeah, it's it's um, that's an interesting uh, piece of technology. But on the most, the, but the actual technology part is on the inside. It has yeah. got the most state of the art audio system for live concerts ever developed, supposedly. Hmm. And it's only taking high end bands. So for like the first run is going to be U2 only doing Joshua Tree, wow. which would be awesome. Yeah. And the band that is now announced, the band I guess is going to follow them up are the Eagles. Oh, Eagles in a in the best sound system. However, we want to take a guess what tickets cost. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to take a guess. Ticket, I can't. I can't afford it. <laughs> John, what, what do you think, John? What do you think? You get a, a, uh, a I would probably you guess five thousand dollars. Five thousand dollars. Not that high, Jesus. No, two thousand. No, fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred. Oh, fifteen hundred. Okay. Well, that's, that's still high. high. Yeah, money. That's too high for me. That's too high for me. That's yeah, check out that Las Vegas Sphere, guys. You, you. you so look at the, I've already, look at the I've already seen the video on it. Awesome. It's impressive technology. Very impressive technology. However, how long is it going to be before that bad boy gets hacked? I, well, exactly. Uh, the last thing you want to see is, you know, some porn action on your... <laughs> yeah, you're going to see, you're gonna see <laughs> Big Mike and Obama going at it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Big Mike and Obama going at it. Yeah, yeah exactly. Oh, my All goodness. Right. Thanks. 
All right, guys. All right, guys. Take it easy, fun. Have a good phone call. I'll see you. Let's uh, have a pleasant day and a better tomorrow. Bye. Amen. Bye bye.